people who live in Georgia are out hunting for jobs. New numbers from the Labor Department show a jump in unemployment. Earlier this week, we told you about a job training fair in Lafayette. Mm -hmm. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo spoke with attendees who heard about it. She joins us now with where they hope to work. Brianna? Calvin, Kim, those job seekers today say that they just want to take care of their families. Even though nationally more jobs are being added in Georgia, less people are getting hired. It's something many hope to change at today's job fair. Finding full -time employment. Brian Lindsay is on the hunt for a new job. He's only 21 years old, has a newborn baby and a wife to provide for after getting laid off from an upholstery plant. Well, it's rough, you know, knowing, you know, you know, struggling with the money situation and stuff like that. He and others at the Walker County Georgia Department of Labor are filling out applications for a federal training program. Project coordinator Beth Kelly tells me it helps put the unemployed back to work. We have worked with area manufacturers. We've worked with uh, cities and counties in the area. It just depends on who has the jobs. After life as a stay at home mom, Catherine Hanley says she wants to put her accounting associates degree to use, but she's nervous about not having enough experience. But right now I'm taking the um, tax class at Liberty, so if I don't find a job before, I can do taxes if they hire me, but I'm doing that class, so I'm trying to keep doing things out to improve myself for the skills I could do. Here's a look at unemployment rates in the southeast. Georgia is now one of the highest for August at 8.1 percent. Surrounding states hover between 5 and 7 percent. Most are higher than the national average of 6.1 percent, and there are challenges contributing to those numbers. The problem that, that we run into, people that don't have their high school education, They're, it's harder to place them in those higher paying jobs. Brian is one of those working to get his GED for a better job and a better life. I'm Look at looking for mill work right now because mill work to me, you know, is more stable and permanent than, you know, working for a small company or something like that. And you can walk into any Labor Department office to sign up for the job training program. There's no guarantee you'll get a job, but officials say they can help put you on the right track. They also do mock interviews and help with resume building. Kim. Brianna, thank you very much. And you know, it's best to be accurate and truthful about your experience when you're job hunting. Just this week, a top Walmart executive was forced to resign for lying about earning a college degree. A recent Nationwide Career Builder survey says 58% of hiring managers have caught a lie on a resume.